If you enjoy my videos, please check out my website at creationsciencefiction.com where you'll find articles on creationism, science, and my blog. If you really enjoy what I'm doing, please consider becoming a contributor at the link in the video description. Notice, I want you to notice the features on this, uh, uh, this mock-up. Uh, notice the ears, which you can't tell from the skull, the hair, the hairline, which you can't tell from the skull, the skin texture and tone, the lips, even parts of the nose, uh, certainly the body hair. Uh, you can't tell any of that from, now you can tell the brow ridges. Uh, depending on how much of the skull you find, you can tell the shape of the skull itself and the teeth. Uh, you can tell some of the musculature from the little pits in the bones where the muscles attach um, by uh, tendons. Now, here's another thing. Every time they make one of these little mock-ups, they always draw the sclera, or the whites of the eyes. Monkeys' eyelids are different from ours. You cannot see the whites of their eyes. Even animals, like a cow or a horse, you know, if, if you're messing with the horse back there, uh, maybe if they turn their head and roll their eye really far, you'll see the whites of their eyes. That's when you know they're really worried about something. Uh, but human eyes look like this. You cannot tell the eyelids, they always make these eyes look human and not monkey. They do everything they can to make it look as human as possible. The guy giving the lecture is Dr. Charles Jackson, who works for whatever creation ministry he happens to be working for at the time. I made a short series on some of the Facebook videos he was putting out daily earlier this year, and he got a little upset about it and stopped making them back in April. He often incorrectly refers to our hominid ancestors as monkeys instead of apes. And what the heck was he talking about? Behind a horse doing what? Before I explain exactly why he's wrong, let's take a look at another clip by Creation Ministries International, the folks behind creation.com. One of the techniques they've used to make the apes more human-like is quite simple. One of the distinctive features of human eyes is our white sclera. Apes, however, do not have whites in their eyes. Their sclera is brown or black. This might sound like a subtle difference, but if an artist depicts an ape with a white sclera, they look much more human. Indeed, this technique has been used for years to indoctrinate the public with alleged evolutionary ancestors. There is no fossil evidence for eye color. So when an artist draws an alleged ape-man ancestor with whites in its eyes, that's purely based on speculation. National Geographic magazine has been using this trick for years. Who knows how many people have been fooled by it? The alleged ape-man ancestor they just pictured in that video was actually Homo floresiensis, which is genus Homo, human like us, and not alleged to be an ancestor, more of a cousin. Since all known humans have white sclera, I don't know why we would represent them any other way. Same goes for ancestors of ours like Homo erectus. Now all artist renderings of early hominids aren't pictured with prominent white sclera, but sometimes they are like this artist rendering of Australopithecus africanus. Is the creationist claim that all other apes besides humans don't have white sclera true? Of course not. It's false just like the rest of their claims. The creationist assumption is based on a 2001 study out of the Tokyo Institute of Technology, which only looked at four gorillas and assumed that they were representative of them all. Some later researchers noticed that this doesn't actually match what we see in nature. A more recent study published in 2015 shows that 72% of gorilla eyes in their sample deviated from the assumed all-dark eye condition. They argued that white sclera evolved to amplify direct gazes in humans, which would have played a significant role in the development of extensive communication, which is communication that both shows something and shows the intention to show something. They concluded that the horizontal elongation of the human eye, rather than sclera color, more reliably distinguishes humans from great ape eyes, represented by gorillas here. I found a great explanation for the whites around their eyes on a YouTube channel called Apes Like Us, and I'll put a link to this in the video description. Here's a short clip. Those eyes are the eyes of a chimpanzee, even though they look frighteningly like us. You'd almost think this was maybe an early 
2018 Halloween special, but no, those are chimpanzee eyes from one of the sanctuaries that I was working at in, um, in Africa. And what I wanted to talk about this week was that white part around your eyes. You know, humans have much more white than almost any other primate on the planet. In fact, um, we're dominated by white. And there's a reason for that. The white around your eyes, that, well, I hope it's white. It was just New Year's a couple days ago, so who knows what color that thing is. But anyway, that white around your eyes is called the sclera. The sclera is the white portion of your eye. It actually wraps all the way around your eyeball to the very back of it. It's made from collagen, which is the most, well, it's like the most numerous protein in your entire body. It adds elasticity to everything you do. It's in your tendons, it's in your muscles, and it adds elasticity to your eye. Well, we're not really sure 100% why we have more white than any other primate on the planet, especially any other ape. But we think it's because humans use their eyes to communicate in a very different way than most other apes do. Like if you look at a gorilla, chimps, bonobos, any of the others, their pupils and irises seem to dominate their eyes. So they actually do have white sclera, but you just can't see it. In fact, there was a study done, and I'll put a link to that down in the, in the show more section. There was a study done where they looked at the amount of um, sclera that's white in a gorilla's eye and a human's eye, and they found that it was almost the same, except for because our eyes are elongated, more of that white shows. And that's why, for example, if you have a pet dog, if you're standing there talking to your dog and you're looking around at the dog, the dog's following your eyes the whole time. Well, we use our eyes to communicate like that, where apes don't really want you looking at their eyes. They want to conceal what they're looking at. And in fact, the worst thing you could do is you stare right into the face of a gorilla, for example, and this is the reaction you're going to get. So don't do that. Don't stare into the face of a gorilla or a chimp or you know any other ape. Anyway, that's your sclera. You probably never knew where it was, and now you can use it for trivia and fool all your friends. So is it dishonest for National Geographic or artists to show white sclera on our early hominid ancestors or relatives? Well, of course, it is an assumption. But since all known humans have white sclera, and so do many other apes alive today, we know it happens somewhere along in our family tree, and it's an assumption based on evidence. I certainly wouldn't say it's dishonest. 